Hi everyone, welcome along to the channel again. Uh, we're on uh, part six, I think, of Pear Tree Close, and I'm going to show you exactly what we've been on with. But before we do, please, please subscribe, like, and share. Simple. Okay. I'm starting off in the loft because this is where we've been uh, doing quite a lot, uh, quite a bit of work to get all the ceilings level, uh, as I explained in a previous video. So if I just scan around you can see all brand new loft insulation and look at the amount of space it's crazy isn't it it's a great bit of space and if you look behind me yes the boiler is going in right there brand new boiler so yeah it's been a bit of a uh, task and a half it has uh, for what we've been doing this week because we needed to catch up we uh we got behind on a few things uh, within the, um, sorry, external to the property. So I've had to stay a bit and try and catch up on stuff, but I'm going to show you all that now. Okay. Oh, down the steps we go. Pull these up. Where should we put them? We'll put them there against the loft ladder. They still haven't been installed yet. Yeah, we've got the pipe work. It runs straight across there, right the way down. And no doubt you will have seen the bathroom, but we've not touched that. But the big thing is, we've got some boards on the wall. We obviously can't do the window reveal yet because uh, I need to pick up the window that I've got for there. And look at another room. Boarded. Yeah, look at that. We've got the window for there. We're going to install that tomorrow. I uh, couldn't get out and put the uh, tower scaffold up today because of the weather. Okay, but yeah, it's uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. We've not started stripping in here just yet. Um, we've got to uh, do all that wall in the blue so as, uh, the adhesive can stick to it. But, you know, once that's all stripped tomorrow, we can board it and then uh, Dan can come in and start plastering. But yeah, if I come downstairs, uh, the main big thing is we stripped out the fire. Well, Dan did. We are going to... We're not going to put a log burner in because there's quite a lot of cost involved in doing it. So that will be down to the new owner, should they wish to do so. But what we are going to do is we're going to leave it open, uh, tile it, and put nice, uh, nice lights on it and that. So uh, it'll, it'll be a feature. It'll be a feature. But we're going to have uh, log storage on either side of it. Uh, uh, glass uh, units uh, with lights in them either side and I'm going to run the HDMI um, sockets from there all the way up to the middle of the uh, the fireplace where we'll have a recess for a TV and if you come through here look we've opened it up ain't that special hmm? what we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, set of three door bifolds right in there so as it falls back this set this way and then we can put a rack there and a couple of small wall units and a couple of small base units there uh, we are going to have to we're going to remove this door because it doesn't quite meet code uh, it's also the the seal on it is gone it's it's getting all foggy down the bottom so we're going to get rid of that and we're actually going to reduce the size of it and we've got a set of patio doors to go in there. And we're going to put a bench seat across the back with some panelling on the wall. Now, as you can see, the kitchen is fully removed. That's getting blocked up tomorrow. But what we have done is... We've taken down the wall there and we've installed the archway for a door to go in. But we're putting in... A small hatch then further down so as you will be able to get to the electrics and that further back so that's all what's going on see we have been busy and I've been out collecting stuff uh, I promised some hints tips and tricks so one of them would be 
this baby. Always have a look on Facebook Marketplace. It is fantastic. And you're actually helping people out by taking the stuff that they probably paid for in the first place. And you get, you get, you can sometimes get a lot of money off it. But the likes of that, you know, 160 quid as opposed to 300 and odd. And I got a couple of more um, uh, lintels as well uh, with it. So I think we did really well. And we've got the angle iron as well for the front window upstairs, which is just down there. On the outer brickwork, there's none, no support, sorry. There's nothing in there. So I want to put an angle iron in and I don't want it resting on the window. So the angle iron will take the weight of the brickwork. There's nothing else resting on it on the other side, but you know, it's, uh, it's just making sure it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, that's about it, I'm afraid. Um, we've had guys coming and taking all the logs from the trees that we've chopped down. Uh, we've, an, we've allowed a phenomenal amount of light in, which we were not expecting, but it was absolutely amazing to see. Um, I'm quite sore as well, I remember it on the back of my neck, but however. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some nice decking out there, and we're going to have some really nice kind of showcase uh, decking and uh, and lighting as well, and uh, a lot of glass out there, because we're going to... I don't want to tell you. It'll be a nice surprise anyway. Um, that's all for today. Uh, I'll be back again Friday with uh, another update. Um, but other than that, yeah, we're all done. Uh, please don't forget to um, like, subscribe. Subscribe is a very important place. And you'll get all our updates as well. And share it as well. Get everybody else involved. Because there's loads of stuff that we can we can give you tips on. And you know show you where to um, to save money and stuff. Okay, see y'all later.